Hello everyone, welcome to the Career Development Lab. My name is Dayat Niazi and today in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can save your credit card information when you are paying your fees. For example, you are using Stripe and you want to save your card information into the uh, into the Stripe API. So you don't want to re-enter your information. So how to do this? So basically we are working on this how you can apply the discount on your courses uh, offer your discount on the website how you can uh, uh, create your discount coupons in the admin dashboard right how to uh, create the percentage coupon how to create the uh, uh, a fixed amount coupon right so here you can watch this uh, whole series to learn about coupons and now i'm going to show you that how you can do this right so uh, here if i go to the api uh, so there are a lot of uh, apis you can use so you need to here two things first you need to provide your customer detail right and then you need to uh, turn this setup feature uh, this session on session change this with the on session because by default it's turned off so how to do this in the api we are using in this so uh, uh, series uh, so if i go to the code so here i'm using this so check out to session right so you can find this from here right check out session where i'm providing my item with the quantity then here i'm passing my customer right so this customer where this customer is coming from this customer is coming from the uh, api right so you can visit the customer tab and know how to uh, retrieve the customer from the stripe so there is a helper uh, retrieve customer i'm using here different to uh, i'm using laravel cashier here right so that's why i'm pulling this from the different method right but in the stripe there is a method of retrieve uh, customer so you can get this from there and then uh, you can get it from his name or uh, i think you can get it from its id right so you need to here uh, you need to pass the pass your customer object right and then you need to pass the payment intent right and then you need to pass with an array set of future usage on session like this so you need to add these two parameters right and then in, uh, when you will uh, uh, when you will uh, process the payment so it will save your information right so here i'm using this uh, in my application for the first i'm going to uh, pay this fees right and then i'm going to uh, the different one so enroll into the course i'm already logged in we will enroll me and ask me to process the payment okay 960 right and here i'm going to save my card information right and let's click on this pay and this email is pop up here because uh, you can pass your customer email right so this one is my customer so it's grab whenever you will pass this customer object so it will grab your email automatically right click on this pay right and will paid successfully and yes it's processing the request to and let's wait for a moment to complete this process and yes our payment was successful right so now let's go here and if i check this uh, now there is one more entry is there right so if i check this status it's paid now right so there is no option to uh, process the payment right so now i want to test this that my information is saved uh, in the stripe api my card information right saved or not so how i can make sure that i'm going to purchase this lesson now click on it okay it's unpaid and i can roll into the course so let's click on this okay and yes it's reloaded the stripe and yes it's automatically loaded my card information my email right but if still you don't want to use this existing card you want to change your card with the another card so you can still there is option to change this so you can change your information here right otherwise it will uh, reload and you are save your information right like this so you can directly 
pay this through this one so i'm click click on this page it will pay that 20 dollar it's processing and uh, yes it's going to become successful so in this way you can charge your customer right and save their card information right like this in the stripe api otherwise you also you can also save this into your database too but it's uh, you need to give it permission from the user that can i save uh, you can add a checkbox can i save your card information for future usage then you can collect this information so hope you find this uh, useful and if you want to watch more videos like this subscribe this channel and i have multiple courses on this channel so you can explore this channel almost i shooted uh, 30 plus laravel courses you can get the benefit from this channel api development in laravel how you can build your own api how you can build your e-commerce shop this one is a full series from scratch to advanced hosting the series okay um, reward system how you can build the reward system or point system then how you can build your application using chat gpt laragon development how you can set up your laragon development qr code in laravel discount github ci cd actions laravel cms build blog system in urdu this one is uh, recommended for the uh, native urdu or hindi speakers so you can watch this uh, course to learn about uh, laravel basic uh, from scratch to uh, uh, from not from scratch you can uh, learn it from uh, basic to advanced right so hope to I uh, will subscribe this channel to support my passion. So I will meet you in the next one and see you then. Bye bye, guys.